Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, I'd like you to solve this triangle in problem number 12. It gives us the following information in the upper right-hand box, and as I read it, I want you to mark it. GA is congruent to GE. GB is congruent to GD. GC perpendicular to AE, which is already marked. Measure of angle 3 is 35 degrees. Measure of angle 4 is 22 degrees. Now, let's see if we can figure out angle A, angle 8, angle 6, angle 2, angle 10, and angle 1. Pause this video and give it a try. All right, there are a number of places to start, but let's take a look at this triangle right here. In that triangle, I have angle 8, which I know is 90 degrees. And angle 3 we already know is 35 degrees, so we have a right triangle whose angles are 90, 35, and we should be able to subtract from 180 to figure out that angle 9 must be 55 degrees. Now angle 9 is the base angle of this larger triangle. Notice the isosceles triangle there. I have two congruent segments which makes base angle 9 congruent to base angle 6. So 6 must also be 55 degrees. Now, I also noticed that 9 and 10 are supplementary and 5 and 6 are supplementary to each other because they make a straight angle. So if angle 9 is 55 degrees, then angle 10 must be how much? That's right, 125 degrees for angle 10, 125 degrees for angle 5. Notice that this whole diagram is balanced because of the isosceles triangles. So an angle on the left-hand side of the diagram, such as angle A, must be congruent to an angle in its opposite orientation on the other side, angle E. So what we have so far is measure of angle 8 is 90 degrees, measure of angle 6 is 55 degrees, measure of angle 10 125 degrees. Let's look at this obtuse triangle here on the outside. Angle 10, 125 degrees. Angle 4 at the top, 22 degrees. Subtract those two angles from 180 and that will give us angle E. Did you figure it out? 33 degrees. If angle E is 33 degrees, that's in part of an isosceles base angle and that means that angle A over here also has to be 33 degrees. Hopefully at this point it's obvious to you that angles 1 and 2 are congruent to angles 4 and 3. So angle 4 was, was um, 22 degrees, angle 3 was 35 degrees, and so angle 2 must also be 35 degrees, angle 1 must be 22 degrees. So 35 degrees, angle 2, angle 1, 22 degrees. Good job. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.